Hi, my name is Kai Hendry. I'm just testing my new Arch Linux OBS GH5 setup here. So all I need to do now is hit F7. That's what I'm bound to. I should be recording. And I'm recording via this HDMI capture thing using that microphone up there and that GH5, which is kind of nice. Um, okay, let's get on with it. So, UOS V program asked me about the Linux Intel memory issues. Um, yeah, it's one of those things with, you know, crazy name for the exploit, Meltdown Spectre. And I'm not that worried about it, I mean, or, or that concerned. I'm, I always remember my lecturer saying that Intel was a complicated, um, what do you call it, a complicated instruction set. So I, I'm a little bit surprised that these things don't even happen more often, actually, I dare say. So anyway, an issue comes up and the exploit, if I understand correctly, allows the attacker to just read arbitrary pieces of memory on the system. And again, I'm uh, hopefully this doesn't show my ignorance, but like um, a lot of there's a when you run um, programs on a on a typical computer, the there is lots of like protections to to make sure the memory is sort of randomized. So it's kind of difficult to to know where to read as an attacker the memory that you're looking for, like you know the Bitcoin wallet key or something like that. Um, but I thought I should just mention like weird things like Intel CEO selling stock at the same time. Uh, and it's also important to me what AWS says, and I thought like like it doesn't say anything about it on the security blog, on the security tweet uh, Twitter handle. It doesn't say anything about it on the on the security blog. You have to find it in the security bulletins, and I think they've done a good job. I mean, I noticed all these sort of Linux upgrades coming down on my ECS instances, so. I think they've done the the thing of protecting their customers. This the big thing that that seems a bit annoying is getting this sort of CPU hit. So yeah, uh, I hope that answers your question. I'm not too worried about it. I, I mean, I think I've done a a, a video about why I don't like Intel. Right, um, they suck, and I'm re I was really looking forward in you know, this Las Vegas Consumer Electronics Show to some new, nice new Intel processors. But any gains, I think, is going to be um, reduced to to nothing because of this new bug, I guess, which operating system like Linux kernel has to sort of now sort of impose itself to, to make sure that um, people can't exploit this bug. You know, I don't know. I don't, Actually, if I can choose a kernel to run on my Arch machine that doesn't have this patch, I'd be I'd be happy because I'd rather have the extra thirty percent boost. Okay, that's it. I hope this new setup is working. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Thanks for watching. Please like the video.